Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a plugin that allows ChatGPT to read PDF documents. Now, if you don't have plugins installed yet, go ahead and click that link down below and join the waitlist. But for now, if you do, go ahead and come up here to GPT-4. No plugins enabled. We go to the plugin store. And then currently, the plugin we're using is one of the more popular ones. So let's go ahead and let it load. All right, so the plugin we're going to be using today is going to be Ask Your PDF. And lucky for us, we don't have to make an account. So all you have to do is simply press install, and then it'll be directly put into your user interface. From here, we can go ahead and come up to enabling it like that. And let's go ahead and start off by asking it what its capabilities are. So we're going to go ahead and say, what is the capabilities of this plugin? And what we'll do is essentially identify what it can do and then see how we can leverage it. So this plugin has four main capabilities. It looks like you can download PDFs, you can get information from the PDFs, you can page number specification, which is pretty cool. And then error handling, it looks like if an error occurs while the acquiring API, the user is prompted to download their document first. So one thing that's really cool about this plugin is its ability to essentially, um, I know a lot of issues people have in the past is like, well, I don't know how to use it to like have a, like a PDF that's on my desktop. One thing that's cool about this plugin is that you can actually drag and drop your PDF into here and use their API in order to get like a, you know, um, public link. But I'm gonna show you how to do that in Google Drive real quick. But first, let me just show you it here. Uh, let me drop, uh, provide a PDF to your API. Let me see if that would be able to pull it up. So as you see, you just simply have to ask, can I drag into your database? And then it gives you a step-by-step -step, uh, way of approaching it. First, you would go to the link provided, you would upload your doc there, and then essentially you would grab the document ID associated with it, and then you can do further interactions as you'll see play through. One quick thing I wanna show you is if you don't wanna go through that route, what I suggest you do is go ahead and create a folder in your Google Drive, set it so that you put go to share, from here, you're going to want to basically change it to anyone with a link has access. Therefore, GBT will have access. And I've already put in some example PDFs that I'm going to go ahead and use in today's tutorial. Okay, knowing this, let's go ahead and start today's tutorial. We're going to go ahead and say, uh, summarize this PDF for me, semicolon. And then I'm going to come up to that uh, Google Drive folder. And we're going to go ahead and say, get link, we'll say copy link, come back over to our GBT. And then as you see here, it'll be able to actually grab the link here. As always, when the API is working, you'll see this green little box here that is accessing um, the PDF essentially. So this document is from a course that's coming up here from Web Cafe AI about how to automate YouTube and leverage it, uh, chat GBT and Zapier for YouTube. But as you see here, it was able to summarize what was found in the PDF says the document offers guidance for effective YouTube affiliate marketing. It covers a various aspects, including generating contact ideas, developing marketing strategies, and so on. This is a pretty powerful tool if you want to summarize really big documents, but there is a lot more we can do here. So let's jump into other things we can ask this plugin. So one cool thing that I saw was able to do was its ability to obviously analyze documents such as scientific reports and essentially give consensuses on it. So we can go ahead, for example, go to this scientific report I got on Google Scholar about global warming and let's see what it comes up with. And what it's doing specifically actually in this context is it's finding the conclusion of the report. So it's going to scan through this entire PDF and see where the conclusion paragraph exists. So it looks like it didn't like the way that the Google Scholar PDF was formatted. So what I can do here is I'm gonna go ahead and download that and put it into my Google folder drive. So I have the new link here, which is from the Google Drive shared folder that I had earlier. It seems like possibly if you ever wanted to issues using this plugin with public links that you just found on a website, the route might be just downloading it and then putting it into a drive folder because it might like that formatting better than whatever the website that you grabbed the link from originally. So as you see there, that actually worked perfectly and we were able to get the conclusion from the report, which gives basically formatted into three sections with these little bullet points, scientific, economic, political, and essentially, you know, condenses a very lengthy report into this nice little summarization. Now, another cool feature that I saw that this plugin has the ability to do is its ability to uh, understand legal documents and find certain sections of legal documents. So let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and downloaded this mock legal document here, and we're gonna go ahead and use this on today's example. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Obviously, let's just go ahead and grab the link to this document, come back over here, paste it here. And basically we're talking to ChatGBT saying, I have a PDF of a legal document. Can you find the section of liabilities? 
I'm honestly not too sure if this document has a section on liabilities, but we will find out. Okay, so this performed a lot better than I thought it would. So not only does it identify the specific page, but it also goes into detail what's going on. So each party's liability to the other for damage to tangible properties is limited to 5 million. And then it also jumps even further with basically everything that's associated with liabilities within the legal document. And, it's, and it gives the specific page number uh, for each reference. I mean, this is really powerful stuff. So the last thing I wanted to test here was its ability to handle like large amounts of data. So I have the book of Tom Sawyer in PDF format. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link. The prompt I'm using is I have a PDF book. Can you find all mentions of a specific character? We're gonna say all mentions of, well, that might be too much for a book. Let me see, can you, let's just say, can you identify, identify the main, th uh, the main three characters and let's see what it comes up with let's go and make sure there's space here identify i'm going to paste the link i may have to use or download that pdf and put it into the google drive folder if it doesn't like this link but let's see what it can do okay it was actually able to achieve what we wanted here is able to compile all of those pages from the book and essentially get the three main characters such as tom sawyer joe harper and huckleberry finn even giving context behind the characters and then on top of that these characters are mentioned throughout the book but a clear reference to all three is found on page 97. Pretty cool stuff here. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It is completely free and it really helps us here at WebCafe AI. If you're interested in more videos about ChatGPT and plugins, make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at WebCafe where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.